Good morning, my dear children. My dears, we are at the last of this chapter, joining thousands. Listen here. Take your text, page number fifty-three. Deposit. Okay, this is our today's the bank first activity. Deposits of Babu, Deposit. Nafia, and Johnny are. One thousand four hundred and twenty rupees, one thousand five hundred and eighty rupees, and one thousand six hundred and five rupees. Sitara's deposit is half the sum of the deposits of Babu and Nafia. Bindu's deposit is one twenty rupees more than the sum of the deposits of Johnny and Nafia. Tahira's deposit is equal to the sum of the deposits of Sitara and Bindu. What is the deposit of Tahira? This is our question. We want to find the deposit of Tahira. Okay. Tell me, dears, what did you say about Tahira's deposit? Is it directly given? No. What they say about Tahira's deposit? Yes. Tahira's deposit is equal to the sum of the deposit of Sitara and Bindu. Sitara yudeyum, Bindu yudeyum deposit in the sum in equal ana Tahira yudeyum deposit. Is they give Sitara's and Bindu's deposit? No. They only give the deposit amounts of Babu, Nafia and Joni. But... They give some hints for finding Sitara's and Bindu's deposit. By using that hints, we find the amount deposited by Sitara and Bindu and also find the deposit amount of Tahira. Listen here. First, we can write Babu's deposit, Nafia's deposit and Joni's deposit. These three amounts are there. Already given directly. First we want to find the Sitara's deposit. What did they say about Sitara's deposit? Yes, Sitara's deposit is half the sum of the deposit of Babu and Nafia. That is Sitara's deposit. Babu and Nafia deposit in the sum in the half. Half of Babu's deposit plus Nafia's deposit. So, first we want to find the sum of Babu's deposit and Nafia's deposit. Babu's deposit 1420. Nafia's 1580. What is the sum of that deposits? We get 3000 rupees. When we add 1420 plus 1580, we get 3000. What about Sitara's deposit? Half of. What is the half of 3000? What is the half of 30? Yes, 15. So, uh, half of 3000 is 1500. That means Sitara's deposit is 1500 rupees. Next, we want to find the deposit amount of Bindu. What is the hint they given for finding Bindu's deposit? Yes, Bindu's deposit is 120 rupees more than the sum of the deposits of Joni and the Nafia. Joni de Nafia de deposit in the sum in a column 120 rupees more. Aana. So, first we find the sum of the deposit of Joni and Nafia. Then add 120 to that deposit then we get the deposit amount of bindu so we can write it like this bindu's deposit is equal to joni's deposit plus nafia's deposit plus 120 what is joni's deposit yes 1605 plus what about nafia's deposit yes 1580 1580 plus 120. 120 more than the sum of Jonis and Nafias. First we add these two and then add 
the answer with the 120. 1605 plus 1580 is equal to 3185. Then plus 120. Then we get Bindu's deposit as 3305. Then we want to find the deposit of Tahira. What is the uh, amount of Tahira deposit? Yes, Tahira's deposit is equal to the sum of the deposit of Sitara and Bindu. Here, what is the deposit of Sitara? 1500. What is the Bindu's deposit? 3305. Tahira's deposit is equal to Sitara's deposit plus Bindu's deposit. What is the answer? Add these two amounts. Now we get Tahira's amount as 4805 rupees. Okay. Uh, now we find Tahira's deposit. Write this question and answer in your notebook. And also listen this question and answer once more. Okay, dears. Let us go to the sec today's second activity. Take your text page number 54. Development Fund. The members of the PTA raised some money for the school development fund in five groups. The third group got 600 rupees more than first group and 400 rupees more than the second group. The fifth group got 550 rupees more than the fourth group and the third group got 200 rupees less than the fourth group. The fourth group got 4200 rupees. Find the amount raised by each group. What is the total amount raised for the development fund? My dear children, this question is quite difficult to understand. So, read this question three or four times. Only after that you listen the answer part. First, we can make a table like this. Group 1, group 2, group 3, group 4 and group 5. Then, look at the question once again. There are 5 groups. What they say first? Yes, the third group got, third group got 600 rupees more than the first group. Okay, third group got 600 rupees more than the first group. How can we write this? Third group got 600 rupees more than the first group. First group, they call them 600 rupees more than the third group and also they say that the third group got 400 rupees more than the second group third group in a second group in a kit is in a column 400 rupees on a code the little first group in a column 600 then second group in a column 400 rupees more again they say that fifth group got 550 rupees more than the fourth group. Fifth group got 550 rupees more than fourth group. Fourth group in a kitty amount in a column 550 rupees more on a fifth group in a kitty. Then they says that the third group got 200 rupees less than fourth group. Then this is that third group got 200 rupees less than fourth group. 200 rupees less than what the amount got for fourth group. Then what they say? Yes, the fourth group got 4200 rupees. They directly give what was the amount got for fourth group. What was the amount? 4200 rupees. Okay. Now they directly give how much amount got for fourth group? 4200. Then we can say how much amount got for fifth group? How? Yes. For fifth group got 550 rupees more than fourth group. That means fifth group got 4200 plus 550 rupees. 
address the amount 0 plus 0 0 0 plus 5 5 2 plus 5 7 4 4750 rupees yes the amount got for group 5 is 4750 rupees then what about third group yes the third group got 200 rupees less than fourth group fourth group in a kitty in a kai 200 rupees less than okay then what is the amount for 1200 minus 200 what is that amount 4200 minus 200 yes that's very easy 4000 okay now we get the amount collect by third group fourth group and fifth group then we want to find that amount collected by first group and second group. There is a connection between first and third group and also second and third group. But yes, third group got 600 rupees less than, greater than first group. Then third group in the first group in the column 600 rupees more. Then, first group in the first group, yes, first group in the first group, 600 rupees less than the third group, minus 4000 minus 600. What is that amount? 3400. Then, third group got 400 rupees greater than second group. That means, second group got 400 rupees less than third group. What is that amount? 4000 minus 400. What is that amount? 0, 0. 3600. First group got 3400. Second group got 3600. Third group got 4000. Fourth group got 4200. And fifth group got 4700. 50 rupees. Now we find the amount collected by each group. There is another question for us. What is that question? Yes, the question is what is the total amount raised for the development fund? That means we we want to find the total amount collected by all these groups. How can we find? Yes, add these five amount. Then we got the total amount. Add this. We get the total amount raised for the development fund is 19,950. How can we read this? 19,950. Okay, let us go to the next activity. Onam sales. Kudumbasri had three stalls in the four day Onam fair. The first stall got rupees 3,405. Rupees 3528, rupees 3780, rupees 3500. The second stall got rupees 2966, rupees 3600, rupees 4250, and rupees 3497. The third stall got rupees 2998. Rupees 3570, rupees 4306, and rupees 3100. First question is which stall got the most taking all four days together? Second question is which day got the most taking all the three stalls together? Here the question says that Kudumbasri had three stalls in the four day on affair. And they give the details of each stall got the amount in each four days. Now we can prepare a table according to the given details like this. Look here dears. This is the amount go to stall in first day, in second day, in third day and in fourth day. Look this is the amount got by stall 2 in first day, second day. Third day and fourth day. This is the amount got for the stall 3 in first day, second day, third day and fourth day. Our first question is 
which star got most amount how can we find yes first we find the star 1's total amount then star 2's total amount and star 3's total amount then we can find who which star got most amount uh, add these amounts how can we find the star first total amount yes adding 3405 plus 3528 plus 3780 plus 3500 add these four amounts yes what is the answer yes the first go star got 14213 like this find the amount collected by star 2 and star 3 yes the amount collected by star 2 is 14330 okay then the star 3 yes 13974 look here which star got most amount yes the star 2 got the most amount what is the second question which day got the most amount how can we find yes this, these are the amount collected by day 1 these are the amount collected by day 2 and also these are the amount collected by day 3 and these are the amount collected by day 4 how can we find the total amount collected by day 1 yes we can add these three amounts when we add these three amounts we got the amount collected by day 2 like this we can find the amount collected by day 3 and day 4 add these numbers and find the answer when we add the amount collected by day 1 we get the answer 9369 when we add the amount collected by day 2 we got the answer 10698 when we add day 3 we got the amount 12336 then we add day 4 we got the answer 10097 look at the answers and find which day got the most amount yes the third day got the most amount what is the amount yes 12336 okay dears now we finish our third unit joining thousands see you in the next class with a new chapter